Welcome into the Brown Bears post game show. The Bears fall in a heartbreaker. 70 to 65 is the final score. UVM takes the win. And with that, we'll hand it over to the head coach, Mike Martin. Uh, well, I thought that was obviously two good teams. Uh, have a lot of respect for Vermont. And, uh, you know, to their credit, they, uh, you know, made a couple more plays than we did. But, you know, uh, first half, neither team really could score. Second half, two pretty good defensive teams couldn't really get a stop. So, um, you know, I think both offenses settled in and, you know, found what was working. And, and we had a couple, couple mishaps in the second half. Uh, defensively that you know all that's all on me as the coach you know just a little bit confusion in our ball screen defense and uh, they present problems right like if you you can't give them the same look because Davis is such a threat picking and popping and you know obviously Shungu's really crafty and really good you know and they're such good cutters off the ball so uh, we want to try to give them a couple different looks but I I, I, um, I I made a mistake in the second half and they had back to back possessions where they just scored too easy on us. So uh, I was I was very pleased with our offensive execution in the second half. Um, you know, even you know, obviously like the the last possession we were down three could have been better. We were down one, we got it right where we wanted. Um, you know, guy we want right around the basket. Um, you know, we'll, we'll look at the film and see if there was any contact. But uh, we uh, were, you know, I was very pleased with with where we got the ball late. And uh, you know, first half, there's going to be a lot of plays that we look at where, man, if we had just been a little bit, a little bit better earlier, probably would have been in a better position. We fought all the way back and just came up one play short. Coach, that's a really good Vermont team, um, tied for the. Lead in the America East last year. They won the conference four years before that. Uh, what does today's game, going down to the wire against a good tournament team, tell you about this Brown team? Uh, nothing that I didn't already know. We, I mean, we, we should win the game. You know, um, we we expect that we can compete and win an Ivy League championship. We should win that game in our home court, and we didn't. So it's disappointing. That's what you know. That, that's what I take away. And these guys, you know, I think would say the same thing. Um, no disrespect to them, but that's a game we should win. Mike, difficult to come back. Uh, you didn't grab the lead until 51 seconds to go. M maybe too tough to get over the top? Or you, again, you just liked your execution in the last minute? You know, that. I mean, we, got, we, we executed really well to get back to the lead up one in the last minute, and this guy made two huge free throws. Then down there, you know, they called the, the foul, I guess, on the reach uh, that went – Put them to the line. Next possession, we ran um, a good action to get uh, our, our guy in, in in space, and he got downhill. And the kid Powell's a good physical defender. Um, I guess he was f very physical without fouling on that last on that one. And you know, we missed a shot. At, um, you know, we'd we'll take any any day of the week. So uh, when we were down three, you know, that I think we probably could have done a better job that possession. But uh, Kevin, I thought, I mean, for us to shoot 64 percent in the second half, only turn it over five times. Uh, score 42 points. I think that's pretty good. Kino, we saw you score in different ways today, right? One one three-pointer, but you got downhill, you hit some floaters. Um, how was adjusting to the physicality of their guards? You know, how did that present a challenge, and how were you able to, to score nonetheless? Um, well, playing against physical guards is it's been a challenge for me since, you know, I'm only 160. But, um, Coach TJ told me to use my speed, get downhill, since they were pressing me. So I just had to listen to him. Since my three wasn't falling, I had to get to the rim. So you were able to get a couple of real good looks. I mean, Coach, the, the two that you got the free throws on could have been an one. It just rammed out. And then uh, tell us about that last one. Um, was there any contact? It didn't look it. It just looked like it just came up just a little bit short. Yeah, um, I kind of got downhill a little bit, and then he cut me off. Um, then I pivoted a little bit, saw a little lane, and then, of course, you know, the left-hand layup, so I make all the time, just, you know, it was a short on that one play, so um, I think it was just on me. Um, like Coach said, kudos to him. He's a pretty decent defender, um, but I should have made that layup at the end of the day. Kino, back to you. After that last possession where you guys were down three, bit of a miscommunication maybe with Kimo. I saw you come off and, and talk to Coach Sorrentine um, as you came to the bench. What, what was he saying to you um, after that possession? Uh, he was saying, just get downhill, make a play, try to drive and kick. But, you know, so it's a learning period. Sure. They're a good defensive team. I mean, they're they're physical. They do a good job guarding different actions. Um, you know, I think it says a ton about uh, Kino that, uh, you know, we 
we wanted to free him up on the last possession. It says a ton about uh, his teammates and their belief and their trust in him. And um, you know, we're we're, uh, we're, we're going to continue to improve um, you know our, our execution at the end of games. Mike, what did you do in the second half to you know uh, obviously run better offense there? Was it just adjusting to the you know, physicality of the game? You know, I thought our guy. I mean, obviously, you know, like we got we got to the foul line. You know, we we attacked the rim more. Uh, I thought we got a little bit more used to how they were guarding certain guys in ball screens. They had different coverages for st- different guys, right? The, some guys they were going under under yeah, under the ball screen. Other guys they were chasing over the top. Uh, we probably got. You know, some of those guys, they were chasing over the top, involved in some ball screens. And, you know, obviously you got to pay attention to Keno. We get JG rolling, you know, Jalen rolling. And, you know, we got him on a couple lobs. T got him, you know, getting downhill. Uh, so I think it was just a matter of us settling in and seeing, um, you know, how they were guarding us and our players uh, making, you know, really good reads and, and good plays. Thanks, guys. T, Keno, coach, thanks for the time. Good.